National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control advises consumers of NAFDAQ regulated products to be watchful of drug, food, and other regulated products they purchase. Director General of NAFDAQ, Professor Mujisola Christina Adeyeye, disclosed that the agency has swung into action and enforcement an enforcement action on various operations carried out that revealed a dangerous trend in the use of substances laced with high concentration of tobacco and sometimes cannabis by gender and age group, particularly artisan, drivers, and Okada riders. Mujisola made this known at the illicit use of ABA intoxicant popularly called Kukura, Gagu, and alcoholic bitters in the country. Furthermore, Christina disclosed that the substance when that the substance when abused can be harmful to the body organ such as the brain, kidney, and liver, and also cause irrational thinking. However, Mojisola said that illegal factories involved in the production of such unauthorized products has been shut down and Hona arrested. Recently, the agency has re received a series of intelligent reports on the use of a particular ABA preparation known as Kokura particularly in the southwest and northern axis of the country. The agency swung into action and carried out intelligence and enforcement uh, duties. We have commenced a nationwide crackdown of all illegal manufacture and distribu distribution of these herbal preparations with a view to bringing perpetrators to book and minimize the usage of the substance, therefore safeguarding the health of our populace. Findings from various operations carried out revealed a dangerous trend in the use of such substances laced with high concentrations of tobacco and sometimes cannabis by our populace, cutting across all genders and age groups, particularly artisans, drivers, Okada drivers, and so on. The Kokura herbal preparations discovered in circulation included what is called five-minute power herb medicine, a Honu herbal mixture, Gamzaki Trado medical herbal venture, Barakalahu multi-purpose herbal mixture, Sabon Cafe herbal mixture. Among the above, only a Honu Laha herbal mixture is registered, nonetheless, laced with unapproved substances that are injurious to the body. Among many others, Kokura is an illicit product illegally consumed for the sole aim of getting intoxicated or getting into altered state of mind. The substance when abused can be harmful to the body organs, such as the brain, kidney, and liver. The damage to the kidney and liver cannot be overemphasized. These substances can cause irrational thinking, alter state of mind, like I said, which, if taken, for example, a driver, that driver can, lead, can cause road traffic accidents with attendant fatality consequences, or it can lead to criminal behaviors such as rape, kidnapping, and murder. That I'm going to talk about is the herbal aphrodisiacs. They call it manpower. We're supposed to be having uh, mind power, or manpower to bring our economies to a, a better state, but this one is called manpower. Another herbal preparation that is of concern is aphrodisiac, and we have discovered the lacing of it with cannabis. In our recent operation, we impounded the following dangerous herbal aphrodisiacs at some Islamic herbal medicine shops in Zaria, Kaduna State, and we, have, we are demonstrating all this, as you can see. Yet, the label on the preparation, yet the label on the preparation read, 100% herbal, but it has uh, products that we use for one thing or the other. The effect of such preparations on persons with heart challenges 
can only be imagined. Many men have died on women who have used such products. They just stop breathing because of what they've taken to, be ma to have man power. We're supposed to have mind power. The makers of these products were arrested and later granted bail. Investigation is ongoing. Another cl class of products that uh, they are trying to lace or they are lacing with things that we did not approve is alcoholic bitters. An alcoholic bitter product that is of great, grave concern to us is Japata alcoholic bitters, which was duly registered by NAVDAC, but laced with marijuana and cannabis compared to the registered product that had only ethanol. Through intelligence, NAVDAC was able to shut down the company. The product, when tested in the laboratory, caused the death of the mice within five minutes. The alcoholic content was doubled compared to what we approved. Uh, the retained samples kept at the point of registration did not cause any injury to the animals. The product was laced with cannabis and was said to cause altered state of mind and psychological problems to the user. It's known to cause altered state of mind. The intelligence we got is that how come that NAVDAC approved a product that is driving people crazy? That was the intelligent report. And immediately, we swung into action. The owner of the company is on the run. Of course, the company has been shut down, everything evacuated. Uh, and the matter has also been shared with NDLEA, because NDLEA does uh, work with psychoactive substances like cannabis and so on. I want to assure Nigerians that NAVDAC is doing everything to ensure that only safe medicines and wholesome foods of the right quality are sold to our citizenry. I would also like to use this opportunity to solicit for the support of health practitioners, community leaders, religious leaders, the press, and all stakeholders to continue to educate their wards and family members to desist from patronizing quacks and hawkers of medicines on the street. We further advise consumers of NAVDAC regulated products to be watchful of drug, food, and other regulated products they purchase and should not hesitate to report any suspicious activities within their environment to the nearest NAVDAC office. Atonda Babatunde, GTV Africa.